Soil pests, such as wireworms or earwigs, can be really devastating for early crop establishment. People often don't realise they have a problem until after they've planted and they start seeing their plant stand affected. The key to managing soil pests is to effectively sample for them prior to planting because the treatments that you use for their control need to be applied with the seed. And what I'm going to show you today is how to effectively sample for soil pests so you don't get caught out by these insects. So in sampling for these soil pests, it's absolutely critical that you use a bait sampling strategy. Simply taking a shovel out into a field like this and scratching away at the dirt or kicking it with your boot will not effectively detect pests such as wireworms and earwigs. When it comes to baits, there's two things that can be very effective. The first is to use a soaked grain bait, wheat or sorghum seed, soak it in water overnight and then use that seed as your bait that you're going to bury in the field. What I prefer to use, and we've done research on this over a number of seasons, is the humble potato. And the beauty of a potato is you don't need to obviously soak it overnight, you can just grab some of these, have them in the back of your ute and you just cut these in half and place them out in the field. To lay your bait, pick a spot that's representative of the field, to remove the overlying dry soil down to the point where you reach soil moisture. Then take your potato that's been cut in half and put it cut side facing down onto that moist soil. If conditions are a little bit on the dry side, which they are here, it can sometimes be helpful just to put a little bit of water around that bait and really important, mark it so that you can come back and find it later on. It's really important to lay at least five or six of these baits through the expanse of your field area. When conditions are warm, you can leave this bait in place for three to four or five days. If things are fairly cool, if we're in the winter months, say we're in August and we're starting to get an idea of pest numbers coming into spring, you might want to leave that bait for up to seven days. But I'm going to go and lay these extra baits now and we'll come back in five days time and see what soil insects are here. Okay, so it's been five days since we laid the baits and we're now going to have a look to see what soil insects we might have attracted. One of the advantages with using potatoes compared to soaked grain is you can immediately see on the cut side of the potato any evidence of feeding from soil borne insects. It'll develop quite a Swiss cheese holy look to it fairly quickly. And in this case there's been no feeding activity at all, there's no holes there. Then we just have a look at the soil that's directly underneath that bait and just inspect it for any evidence of earwigs or wireworms. There's no evidence of any activity there so we'll move on to the next one. On this potato you can see a little bit of evidence of some feeding holes and in the soil directly underneath that bait when we search through it we can see a false wireworm beetle. So whilst we found limited evidence of soil pest activity in this particular field across our six baits which would be a very good thing if we were about to go and plant. If we had have found numbers of wireworms or earwigs, you can refer to the Cotton Pest Management Guidelines for information on thresholds and what action you might need to take prior to planting. 